you know, the uh, the war that goes on within yourself is far more important than any physical war in the world. You know, there's wars uh, between nations, between countries, between religions. Uh, when I say religion, it's pretty much one-sided that the Islam against the rest of the world, pretty much. That the Christians aren't trying to kill uh, Muslims. They're not trying to kill Jews. Uh, there's it seems in this part of history the Islamic uh, religion is trying to wipe out the rest of uh, the world unless you convert off with your head. But uh, there's plenty of wars that are going on between tribes in Africa. There are racial wars, blacks between whites, whites against the blacks, and on and on it goes. And even blacks fight against blacks in Africa. They still to this very day do that. So there's plenty of wars in the world, but the worst one and the most important one is the one that goes on inside yourself. What do I mean by that? That means it's a spiritual war. You're trying to figure out what's the truth and what's a lie. Is, is this person telling me the truth or are they telling me a, a, a bunch of lies, trying to manipulate me? You know, if you look at religions, is the Quran, the truth, or is the Holy Bible that the Christians read the truth? That's what you need to figure out. You understand? Because if you look in the Holy Bible that the Christians use, you look in a verse that, uh, let's look at the uh, John 3.16. It says, for God so loved the world that uh, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life. If that's true, that means that you have to believe in Jesus Christ in your heart or you will perish. So if it's true, it's very important that you get to know Jesus Christ. You can't believe in, in Jesus Christ before you know him. I don't know anybody can believe in somebody without knowing him. To believe in somebody means you trust that person. Uh, you put your full amount of trust in them you put your full amount of faith into them so that if the holy bible's the truth uh, you, there's eternal consequences for not believing you will perish so who's telling the truth and who's not is the holy bible true is the quran true is uh, da the dalai lama for real or is he just a man that likes to be worshipped is reincarnation real or is it just a bunch of baloney one day you die, the next day, you know, you're born as an earthworm or a rat or a skunk or another human. Do you think that has any truth to it? It, it sounds a little ridiculous to me. Do you understand? Is Buddha for real? It's our, you know, should we, should be we worshiping a big, fat-looking Buddha that tries to tell people that they should have self-control? It certainly looks like Buddha and I had no self-control when it comes to eating food. I, I don't know much about that religion. I could tell you it looks ridiculous on its surface. All of these religions can't be all the truth. That's ridiculous to think that all of them can be the truth. There's only one truth, right? The word the truth, okay, is singular. Lies is plural. Do you understand what I just said? If the truth is singular, that means there's only one truth. Lies means there's that's plural. There could be many lies. So it's the truth against lies. The truth against lies. Light against darkness. Do you understand? We all can't be right when it comes to uh, all these books, you know, doctrines, they call them. The Holy Bible, the Quran, the Torah. Do you understand? They all can't be correct. So the war that goes on within yourself is the most important war because it has eternal consequences. So that's, that's a war you need to win. 